Greetings all, Frog here. Let's play Crusader Kings 2 in our Magyar Horse Lords campaign. We're at peace! That sounds very strange. Uh, we are actually doing pretty well in Revolt Risk. We're doing pretty well in Economics, everything. I mean, we're just doing really well right now. At this point, it sounds horrible, but we're kind of waiting for Tibor to die. Uh, there's no point in reclaiming Bulgaria and Bavaria as tributaries because, honestly, I'm, I'm 55. So, yes, there could be another 15 years, but it seems unlikely. So what we're going to do in the meantime are have uh, smaller wars, minor wars, to claim pieces of territory. We're going to go snag pieces of Greater Poland. We're going to snag pieces of the Silesian Revolt. We're going to snag pieces of Den... maybe not Denmark. Denmark's going to be tough. So maybe not Denmark. Um, Livonia, if we can... Um, Vitak, Luki, I mean, basically any piece, any piece of land we can get small uh, chunks out of, we're going to do that. And this is all waiting for when we attack the Byzantines, because the next thing, as much as I'd love to stay apart from the Abbasid, I'm not that worried about the Abbasid anymore. I mean, uh, I mean, look, they, oh, the Arabians do have the largest em the army in the world by 10,000, so that is kind of scary. But by that point, we'll have, been, we'll have subjugated the Byzantines, so we'll have their 10,000 as well. So, you know, I mean... We'll be comparable. So, we'll do that. The alternative is Khazaria, but all of this land, it's not good. There's not a lot of it. Whereas if I subjugate the entire Byzantine Empire, um, and I think I keep the Basilius as one of my kings and just give him Greece... I can just bury that under the Byzantines. It'll be perfect. It'll be fine. Nobody will worry. How's our clan summit? It's doing well. Because we've got uh, Gabriel the Old. And I now have Nogzomba Nog clan. Um, because the other ones were, were feisty. So I got rid of them. And now we're nicely balanced. We're doing well. Am I ever going to get up to 90%? 63,000. Ooh. 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 It's possible. See if I could do an invasion of Kazaria. If I could do an invasion of Gazaria, all we'd have to do is siege... Oh, we can't siege everything in Gazaria. So we'd have to see... We'd have to invade Byzantine. Or, alternatively, we get rid of the Gazarian army, which cannot be that big. I mean... I don't see it yet. I don't see it yet. You see it? I don't see it yet. Not yet. Bulgaria is bigger than them. Oh, that's such a... Such a... Such a tempting thing. I don't see them yet. Anybody? Anybody? How can Kazaria's army be that small? That can't be true. I must have missed them. Yeah, because somebody would have revolted by now if they weren't that big. I obviously missed them. They've got to be right up here. Oh yes, there they are. Okay, 5,500. So once I get rid of the 5,500, then it's a matter... I can leave smaller armies behind to just maintain my sieges, and then BAM! Magyar. And then we subjugate Byzantines. So let's hope for an invasion, CB. Uh, I kind of don't want to take land then, or if I do, I want to give it to my clans, because the only land I really want to keep is in here that keeps my maximum population down. Anyway, let's play the game, come on. Why are you standing both in the mountains? One of you should go over here. Do we attack Bulgaria? I think the answer is yes. We can claim that, that, we can claim that for other people. I kind of would rather take it for myself. What's going on here? I mean, there shouldn't be an autosave on the 60th. Press all claims? Interesting. Or just do a flat out conquest and say, mine! Which is probably what I would do, honestly. Um, right, invasion is not... I can't take all of Kazaria. I can only take what's in the kingdom. Pretty sure. Um, hey, buddy. If I were to declare war as an invasion... What are my... Alright, so I say that, right? We can evade Caesar Pasternak, so if we succeed, we take our vassalizes all titles in the Kingdom of Land. We take all occupied territory, and we take our vassalize. Okay, yeah, so that's why you do that. Mmm. Cran grape today. Quite tasty. Look, 
Speed one's not gonna cut it. Wow, they've been revolting long enough that they could approve a law? That's kind of crazy. My prisoner's complaining about his cell. Let him rot. I don't care if he's a kid. All right, Bulgaria, look. You should never have broken free. This is mine. That's mine. Mine, mine, mine. Conquest of... Olvia. Mine. If we win, Tegri gets some moral authority. I gain all that stuff. Yep, mine. Mine. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to bother calling the allies into war for this one. And you go there and crush their army, and then while you're on it, just kind of move on through and get rid of him as well. Okay, over here, let's get these guys in place to take on this. Works for me. Uh, you're only 1250, so you're going to stay back until I get more men. Can I make more men? I have plenty of room in my horde. Of course I can make more men. Um, let's spend 50 ducats for this, and then a bunch of prestige. Okay. So that's good. That's 27.50. Awesome. So I'm going to take the 7.50. Split 7.50 off of that. Just one, two, three. You guys are going to come join up with him. Actually, you're going to come over to Terrible, and you're going to go to Terrible, and you'll join up. And it'll be a beautiful time. Many things will be had. You guys are going to come over up here. And we're going to let time move again. Are you going to get out? 16th? Nope. Good. You did not get out of that, which is good. 600 men, 1300 men is still no problem for this. Um, although, let's keep you... Let's just have you come down in through here. You're going to be there on the 10th. You're going to be out of there on the 31st. Oh, that's perfect. Um, you're going to be well out by then, so that's okay. Yeah, this won't take very long. 1350 by the 25th, that's alright. I accept, by the way. Alright, now you're gonna go there. You're gonna be there on the 28th. You're gonna be there on the 24th. Wait, I've got two units doing this? Okay, whatever, fine. We'll just crush. Crush, kill, destroy. No worries. Oh, right, you went that way. That's what was happening. Of course it is. Did you stop moving there? You did stop moving there. 19th, 10th. So you're going to go that way. You're going to go that way. Which is going to stop him from moving. Um, you're going to be there on the 15th. So then you'll be there in probably five days after that. So we'll call it 13 days. It'll be primed actually really, really well. Look, after you do that, you're going to go here. Alright. Uh, what do you want? To the brave wit Tabor. May you live in harmony and contentment, blah, blah, blah. Uh, against the Mjolnar of Bohemian Revolt. Bohemian Revolt. Um, yeah, okay, fine. I mean, I'm kind of really after Lesser Poland, but... Attila! He's an amateurish plotter. We have Attila, though. Alright, so that's another two different sets of troops. That's going to be just fine. You're going to go up north to join this guy. You're going to come over this way to join these guys against Lesser Poland. Alright. Let's let this happen here. Alright, enjoy all those duchies. That's insanity, by the way. Nearly a stack wipe. You are going to go north to grab those two guys. You are going to go south just to, cap to get the capital. Alright. Lesser Poland. You, sir. I would like your stuff, please. Um, no, I don't want that one. I would like... Sax? Yeah, Sax should be mine. That's mine now. Alright, move on in. You're going to move on in there. You're going to move on in there. That's mine now. 
Denmark, I don't really want to fight. So let's move the two of you uh, up over this direction. Let's see about Livonia. Oh, Estonia is formed. That's cute. Livonia, what do your allies look like? Uh, the High Chief of Muram. Muram would get involved. Muram, that's 700 plus... How many do you have? 2,000. That's not enough. So, Livonia seems like a likely target. I can only take one. Luki, do you have any friends? You have many friends. Many friends! Estonia. You have many friends as well. Livonia, you have lost the uh, lottery there. We'll get to that in a moment. Bohemia really doesn't need my help, so I'm not going to help them. Continuing on. Stack wipe, obviously. Stack wipes all around, then. Where did you come from? I have a new heir? Oh, no! No! He called it ammonia! Oh, no! Well, he is a brilliant strategist. That's pretty good. Roth is not great, but it's okay. Temperate's fantastic. Gregarious is good. Charitable, kind. Oh, this guy's pretty good, too. He loves me. I'm okay with this. He has 315 prestige. Are there any pretenders to the throne right now? There are some pretenders. Attila has 310. Uh-oh. I don't necessarily want Attila to be my guy. Yeah, he's horrible, so we don't want him. Um, Kristoff is horrible. We don't want him either. Oh, all my plans. Andre, you, sir. I can't, I don't have a... I can't send him away. Oh, no. I need to award, award him a title that gives him prestige. To make sure he's always getting prestige. Point four, point three, point two, point eight's going to be the winner. That's actually point oh eight. That's point two. That's point three. Point oh four. There it is. Ishad, it is. You sir, my Ishad. Let's get you married. Um, those stats are horrible. Uh, she's not of age yet, though, so I guess there's that. Um, there's potential. She's child of a concubine, which doesn't mean anything. She's brave, which is excellent. There are no genetic traits, though. Um, uh, definitely don't want Craven. No, that's garbage stats. Uh, that's the gray eminence would be excellent. No alliance would come of that, though. She does have a claim to what? Pest and Avaria, internal. Um, strong, strong is good. Why is this even moving? Like, I'm not touching anything right now. It's so annoying. Yeah, she's going to be really quite good, actually. Alliance with High Chief. Mm, no claims to anything. Wrong religion. 11. It would be five years before anything comes of that. But strong, brave, diligent, temperate, gregarious. I mean, that's, that's too good. She's the one. Negative 100. I mean, I don't want to lose prestige. Um, Alright. Alright, start over. Oh, Lambert, you were so good. You were so good. We're skipping Kristoff for Andre. That's probably not going to be popular. This is going to get us the most prestige, right? The stats are garbage, though. I wonder who's educating her. I wonder if... if uh, I gain zero prestige. Wow. Alright, let's do it. And then let's see if we can't try and educate her if we're there to be trolls. They might agree to that. It's probably not likely, but it's possible. Wow, attrition! That's 400 men! It's gone! Ugh. Patrician, I hate you. What are you doing down here? Oh, you super roar. Alright, whatever. And then those are mine wars. Continue. Two 
to diligent me. Absolutely a betrothal. Good. Let's click on him. Because now what I would like is to educate a child. I would like to educate... No, I would like to educate whoever is engaged to my son. I don't know who that is. <laughs> okay. Um, here we go. Son. You. I would like to educate you. I would like to suggest that I educate your daughter. No! She should be in a foreign power. Bummer. Oh well. We'll just have to hope it turns out for the best. That's already done. We're at 100%. Fantastic. Gimme. Thank you. All those things are beautiful. They actually attach to my land. So I may keep it. Can I pillage this? Would it be worth it? Let's push it on. One. Two. It would take three pillagings. That would take a lot of pillagings to do. So no. Let's make a vassal. Why is that not hot key bound? Let's create some vassals. Um, I'm going to keep this myself for a moment. Because I'm going to give this to whoever this is. Duke Orgavon the Whisperer, who hates me. Are you buried under somebody? You are. Okay, so that's fine then. Perfectly acceptable. You, sir, are going to get this. Wow, you're really extending out far. I don't like that, actually. No, I want this land for myself. I'm going to keep it for now. Olvi is fine. Um, I am going to burn it, pillage it down, though. It's only two. So this is not a temple, right? This is the castle? That's the castle. Get rid of it. Which one's the temple? That's the temple. So we want we want to get rid of this one, too. We're not going to found a merchant republic. That's just silly. Tempting, though. Um, a merchant republic that can go raiding. That should be everybody's nightmare. I guess I guess it's Scotland, really, if you start out in that right time start. Lesser Poland doesn't have any chance for us. I don't want to move my troops too far to the north because the Byzantines are going to really want to come after us. I suspect, I do not know, but I suspect when this all goes down. Let's bring, let's just bring them north though. After I said that, forget it. Let's just go north. You go into Lesser Poland. Alright, continue. I don't even care about this but revolt. It's just so inconsequential. I suppose I could go crush it if I really need to, but... Just, I'm not that... I can't be bothered. We gotta get up to 63,000 men. We're growing by 156 a month. Just 5,000 more. Probably 65,000 men now at this point, to be honest with you. Alright, after this autosave... Come here and sacrifice some of those men. And then you can recover on your own land. Livonia, buddy, pal, chief. Actually a chief. Sorry, um, I really want this stuff. Really? I want this stuff. Thanks for your stuff. Uh, are we done with this yet? 80%. Okay. We're getting there. You can just come back and, re and recover. You're going to come back south. Um, we'll stage... We'll get those out of the Empire quick. Well, it's a subjugation war, so we don't have to siege the Empire. We just have to get a win. So there'll be some troops over there, but the majority of troops are going to be over here. So we're going to just going to make our way over here. Livonia, 12th, 12th. It's going to be tight. You're going to get out. You are. Okay. Not a problem. You're going to come this way now. 6th, 5th. That, that does it. And we don't need to do the rest of it. We can just go. 98%. We're just waiting for this siege really to fall, and that'll be over. Um, Bohemian Revolt is starting to lose, which is good. There's a battle. They have ships. I wish I could capture them. 
the Rise of the Shia. If you've ever played this game, of course, that's it. It's basically the Sunnis versus the Shia, and now the Shia Rise. That's done. Come back to our own lands, please. Uh, and we're just going to leave it there. There's, there's no question. Obviously, we just won this, so the first thing we do in the next one will be to end the war against Lesser Poland. And we just have more land, and we just, you know, keep expanding. Now we're just kind of waiting for Tibor to die so we can subjugate the Byzantines or invade Gazaria or both. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, click the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel to stay updated to everything as it happens. And until next time, cheers.